Hi everyone, I'm Ben Detweiler and I'm joined today with Sam and Carlos to talk about the Unidad soccer tournament that is happening here at school. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. So the first question that I have for you guys is when will the tournament take place? The tournament will take place Friday, April 17th. All right, and what time and where? Well, the players should be here by 5.15. The, match start, the first match starts at 6. And if you want to come watch, come at 6. What doors shall everyone enter through? Uh, through, the, through the gym doors. The gym doors? Yes. All right. Are there any forms that players need to have filled out in order to play? Uh, no, the only form that needs to be filled out is the one with your team name, the people who are playing, and then just the money. Is there a specific cost in order to play? Yeah, it's uh, $5 per player, and there's five people on a team, well, on the field, and then six, including the goalie. Okay, how was that number figured out? Well, it's based on typical five-a-side soccer, which is five players and a goalie, which is played like throughout the world, like just as a pickup game. Okay, what um, rules are going to be used to ref the games? Uh, it will be standard soccer rules, like no fouling, no diving, no, and it's basically try to score. All right, what is, do you suggest is the best strategy in order to win? Uh, I suggest a small, simple passing, like. Tikitaka, like Barcelona plays, because it's a small field, so you need to have close control with your teammates in order to keep possession and score. All right, Carlos, do you have any input on that? Well, no Tiki Taka, because I hate Barca. He's huh. Real Madrid. <laughs> but yeah, just simple passing and simple shots is all you need. All right, can you tell me the history of the tournament? Yeah, we've actually had it. Uh, this is our third consecutive year. Uh, this year was the first one we've had two. Uh, we had the October one, and previous years before that we had two. All right, and how did those tournaments end up going? They went actually really well. A lot of people, it was fun, and we also sell food there. All right, what and type of food will we be selling? Uh, Mexican food, authentic Ooh. Mexican yeah. food. Tacos, uh, I believe from El Primo. Yes. As if it's a repeat from October. All right, um, can you tell me who has won in previous years? Uh, last, in the Last fall, it was an alumni team. I'm not sure what they were called. And last spring, it was my team, Los Galacticos. How did it feel to end up winning the tournament? I felt like I won the Champions League. Very great. Uh -huh. All right. Are you competing on a team this year? I am. What team are you competing on? Uh, same team as last year, Los Galacticos. Okay. Do you have a strategy that you guys have been formulating to win? Just wear Real Madrid shirts. <laughs> Is there a specific costume that you need to wear in order to compete on a team? You don't need to wear a specific costume, but just try making sure you're, you match. If not, we have pennies of teams who wear the same colors. It's fine. Okay, is there a specific prize for winning the tournament? Yeah, a trophy. Okay, very interesting. Okay. Does, well actually, why should someone come and watch the tournament if they're not competing in it? Well, it's a great time. You get to see many of your friends play and we might have extra activities like a raffle, I believe we were planning. And yeah, it's a fun time. There'll be face painting for the little kids and just to experience the Latino culture with the food and everything. And again, how much does it cost for spectators to come in? Three dollars. Okay. Do you know who will be refereeing the event? I believe it's Mr. Elias, the soccer coach. Okay. How was he chosen for the job? Uh, he's kind of always been our typical referee. He's always been the referee for our tournaments. All right. Do you know what the secret is to winning the tournament? Uh, team cohesion and just understanding within your team. Okay. What is the best way to practice for the tournament? Uh, practice with your team, get to know each other, get to know your idiosyncrasies when you play and all. What are your expectations for this tournament? I winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hope, we hope it's a financial success for the club and we hope everyone has a great time. So all the proceeds benefit the club? Uh, uh, in the fall, we did it. Uh, we did it. We donated the money to a charity, and now I believe we'll keep the funds. All right. What do you plan to do with some of those funds? Uh, I'm actually not quite sure. Yeah, you know? we, we might uh, we might go camping, but I'm not sure if that will come into fruition yet. But it'll also be like to plan for future years, future tournaments. Absolutely. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Just come out and have a good time. Come Friday. support. Friday, Mar uh, April 17th. All right, what time again? Uh, 5.15 for players and 6 o'clock for spectators. All right, sounds, sounds like a blast. 
I'm Ben Delron, and I just talked with Sam and Carlos about the Unidad Soccer Tournament. Make sure you come out and support. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.